So hi guys, it's me again Otik and I'm back again for another video. So today I want to talk about the Infinix Hot 10 Play. Oh wait, I think I already uh, reviewed the phone but this is already the uh, comeback of the Infinix Hot 10 Play. So this is the Infinix Hot 10 Play uh, 2 or 2021 I would say the new Infinix Hot 10 Play so physically um, the the phone physically the phone is it has the same fit dimensions as the the old Hot 10 Play the front the back the screen size is practically practically the same um, the only difference is is it has a new chipset and a bigger RAM and a bigger storage so uh, watch my video on what we can do with the new uh, Infinix Hot 10 Play so sit back guys relax and enjoy the show so hi guys we are playing uh, Mobile Legends on uh, default settings so the game is very much playable on default settings. Eh, patay. So the setting is set on high, no lags so far. No frame drops. So now guys we're playing Asphalt 9 on the Hot 10 Play. So as you can see, there is uh, frame drops on the game. But playable naman yung game. Then may konting frame drops lang. Sa game. Now guys, we're playing Call of Duty. So, no lags. No frame drops. Smooth naman yung game at default settings. So now guys, we're playing uh, NBA 2K20. So playable na yung game, NBA 2K20, no frame drops, at default settings. So, there. Smooth naman. Playable, uh, playable siya. So now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth gamepad to the Infinix Hot 10 Play. 
Okay, it's connected already. So let's try to play this Tekken game using the PSP, PSP uh, emulator. So it's already connected. Yeah. There, guys. So, yung sound of first play niya, it was lagging. Yun. Naglag sa sa first. Pero after sa first na naman, uh, okay naman siya. Mabilis yung game. Not like the Infinix Smart 5 na it's very slow. It's like coping up. Ngayon, okay, na, okay naman siya. So, very much playable yung game. On the PSP emulator. So, okay siya guys. So now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth keyboard to the Infinix Hot Pen Play then let's try to connect the wireless mouse through the micro USB dongle this one so let's try to connect it here turn on the mouse So let's try to type the quick brown fox. There you go, guys. The keyboard is uh, working using the Bluetooth, but sad to say, you cannot use the mouse via the micro usb so wala siyang otg so you cannot use the flash drive to transfer files on the otg here so wala to this is you can useless so let's try to connect another keyboard with the mouse So now guys, let's try this Bluetooth keyboard with the built-in mouse. So as you can see, we've connected it already. Then the mouse is working there. It's working left, right, huh? left, huh? there. So. If the mouse is working, then let's try the keyboard. So let's type in the middle. Hey, it's working, guys. So it, the Bluetooth keyboard and built in mouse is working. So now, guys, let's try to print a picture documents. There, using our Infinix Hot 10 Play printing using our Epson L3150. So let's click on the photo. I've already connected it to the printer. Let's try to print this. It's the picture. So Let's try to 
Keep on the plain paper quality then and sprint. So as you can see guys, it's printing. using the Infinix Hot 10 Play. So now guys, let's try to screencast from the <coughs> Infinix Hot 10 Play to the big screen. So try not in. There. Click on the TV. So let's try if it connects to the TV. Para maka tayo. We can watch on the big screen. So there you go, guys. There. So let's try to watch a movie. there watching on the big screen so uh, watching on the big screen there's a little lag but okay naman watch, you can watch watchable naman siya Pero may konting lag lang. Noticeable yung lag. There you go guys. Casting. So... There's also another way if you don't your TV doesn't have the screencast. So try natin mag use ng wire. So yung wire is the this one, the MHL wire. So you plug it in. Then let's get our handy dandy remote. Go to the source. Then let's use the easy cast again. The Let's use the wire. So click on that. Click on the USB tethering. So let's try to see if it connects. So here, connected. You can watch on the big screen using the MHL wire. Again, try not to it to watch. Between me and you, I need one of those special models. Hey, if I'm gonna be in this game, I need a superpower or something. Between me and you, I need one of those special models. And we can call it dang time. So ito, mas mula siyang love. 
and watching on the TV. The only problem is we need an external uh, speaker because the lumabas sa speaker is just through the phone and the, through the TV. So now guys, try natin mag force desktop mode. So so force desktop mode. Let's go to system developer option. Ito tayo sa last. Then as you can see there, click on those three. So So, let's remove this wire. Go to screencast. Then on the phone, go back to cast. Then So let's try kung meron siyang force desktop mode. So here guys, this is the desktop mode of the uh, Infinix Hot 10 Play. So again, what's nice with the desktop mode is you can use your uh, yeah, as you can see you can use the large screen TV separate with your phone see you can use the phone separately and you can use your TV so let's see if may apps dito. Yes, may app siya. So you can watch, for example, you can go to file, click on file, then here, and movies. There. So you can watch your movies on the big screen while using your phone. To nobody. This is what you gotta do. Oh. You like burgers? Kill it. I'm like, ask. So, this is a bad thing. And then people think, oh, he's trying to lose weight because he's thin, guys. He you wants cannot. To look better. He wants to be accepted. Play two things at the same time. So, you can browse. For example, you're browsing on the phone while watching on the big screen. But you can't play movies and so there you guys
So this is the video of the Infinix Hot 10 Play. I'm walking and as you can see it's it has no stabilization. So now guys, it's time for the um, pros and cons to the new Infinix Hot 10 Play. So the pro pros of the new Infinix Hot 10 Play is it has a bigger RAM, 4, 4 gig rather than the old one, only 2, uh, bigger storage, uh, 64, uh, 64 gig, the old one has 32. Um, it has the same screen size, uh, water teardrop notch, the same. So uh, the pros is a new chipset. So with a new chipset, um, before we cannot run the Asphalt 9. Even we, tr even I've tried to side load the the game, but still you cannot run it. So now, as you can see. There's already a, you can already play the Asphalt 9 also with the NBA, let's try, it's hard to focus, the NBA 2K20. But I've tried to run the game Genshin Impact, it can run but um, it's laggy, slow, um, you, you won't be... Uh, you won't be, you won't have fun uh, playing it. So with other with the other games like uh, Mobile Legends, Call of Duty, so um, maganda talaga siya for its price tag. Na uh, para siyang uh, entry level phone. The price tag of an entry level phone of a Vivo fitted into a big screen with a new chipset. So that's the pros of the new Infinix Hot 10 Play. Also, it can also do multitasking. Um, the old one is maghang siya. It can also uh, do force desktop, which um, I like. But yun, um, the cons naman is you cannot watch and watch on the big screen and watch here on YouTube so mag -conf conflict yung um, dalawang voice so you can use the phone as a you can browse like um, Facebook and other or you can um, browse the Google and watch on the big screen at the same time so yung cons na naman is the cons is ito water drop notch na naman siya like I pero sa akin mas gusto ko yung um, punch hole sa left side kasi when I play game matatakpan siya yung sa thumb ko and watching movies um, it's not clear here rather than here so mas maganda sana if yung punch hole design sa upper left um, cons na naman is yung uh, micro USB pa siya so, mas gusto ko if sana um, USB Type-C na yung mga uh, new phones. And what else? The other cons is... The other cons is... Yun sa, yun, sa force desktop mode, you cannot simultaneously watch two movies at the same time. And also, oh, the brightness of the screen... Out, uh, during if you want to use your phone outside hindi siya ganun ka ka bright so struggle yun sa ano sa if you wanna watch outside yung sa camera department na naman um, if ample lighting lang talaga maganda yung kuha niya okay naman for the price tag um, it's good enough uh, pero if low light yun Mag-grainy na siya, hindi na maganda yung picture quality. And yung selfie naman, 
uh, you uh, I know it's not it's not uh, it's nothing to talk about it's really it's really bad so sa video recording uh, at the the rear video recording it's uh, okay lang um, with ample lighting but uh, yung uh, yung hindi ko nagustuhan is wala siyang video stabilization so that's it guys for the um, Infinix Hot 10 Play with a very cheap price tag that can do a lot of things so uh, I hope you like the vlog so guys thank you for watching my uh, YouTube channel so I hope you uh, click the like and subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you, that you will be notified if there's a new uh, vlog coming out. So again guys, thank you for watching. Bye!